Get in the hole. Ah. What's up, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another course vlog. This is the Bogey Smalls in the building, and uh, today's episode brings us to Fern Hill Golf Club in Clinton Township, Michigan. This is going to be the first of 18 uh, for the season. However, this will be a part one of part two. And uh, when they sent me out on the course, they put me on the back nine. So I'll be starting off there on hole number 10, and let's see uh, how it goes. So I'm out here at Fern Hill Golf Club here in Macomb, Michigan. Gonna play 18 for the first time this year and they got me starting on the back nine. So this whole 10 plays about 310 yards, it's a par four. I would hit my driver about 156 yards uh, to the right, not a very good start. Leaving me about 116 in with a pitching wedge here that I would get close up to the front of the green. I would pitch on and then eventually two putt. Five here plays uh, 503 yards, par five. I wouldn't get my drive on this, but I did hit my drive about 180 yards, leaving me still 307 to the hole. I would hit a three iron about 170 yards for my second shot, what would uh, lead me to a nine iron into the green at about 125 yards. If you're not already subscribed to the channel or following me on Instagram, please make sure you hit the like button also leave a comment below. I would end up two putting on this to uh, give me a par here for the par five. And you know what? The theme of the back nine, I played really, really well, guys, and you'll see this in this video. So hole 12 plays 329. I'd hit my driver about 190 yards leaving me about 135 to the hole. I'd hit a seven iron long, and it would roll through the green to the back. I would pitch on, and then once again, the theme of the day was two putt. Hole 13 is a short par four, about 279 yards. I'd hit a pretty good driver here to the right, about 200 yards, leaving me only 88, but I got into some trouble as I, once again, get caught up in the trees. I thought there was water ahead, but it was just a small creek. I made it through that and actually, once again, the theme of the day, is two putt. Also, you'll see I got a partner on this hole. Um, he caught up to me and I decided to let him play uh, with me. This is James. <laughs> Great line though. And uh, oh. we actually had a good time together, man. Uh, it was pretty fun pairing up. This hole 14's 160 par three. And uh, I thought I hit this long. It felt long. Both him and I thought that it went long. But when we got up there, I actually had uh, hit it just left of the pin, actually on the green. I think, went over. I, think I did. Here's James' tee shot. He would unfortunately oh. get caught up in the trees. And there is some water over on that side. We think he went in there. He'd eventually uh, redeem himself here with a two putt. And here's my putt coming in for birdie. But once again, as you know, was Mr. Tupac for the day. Nice par. So I'd eventually par that hole, bring us the hole 15, about 342 yards, par four. I'd hit my drive about 200 yards, leaving me about 132 to the hole. It would go right here. This is James's tee shot. So 
my second shot in would uh, just be short of the green on the left hand side and this is where I would uh, pitch it and almost kill my camera and then on the other way back I almost hole it in the hole. Oh. <laughs> and then it would turn into putt city but I'd end up redeeming myself with that putt so here's hole 16 it's a short uh, par 310 yards I'd hit a pitching wedge and I would kind of hit it left just off of the uh, side of the green. I'd pitch on, come through long, and then turn around on the other side and do the putting game. I'd be short, and then I would two putt, and that's how it'd work for the day. Here's James's putt in. I think he ends up two putting as well. I'm not playing horrible today. I'm on uh, 17. Played the first few here. Played the back nine. Picked up a partner, James. Say hi, James, to the YouTube channel. Hello, YouTube channel. <laughs> so James is uh, joining me on the back nine here. And uh, I'm getting the ball up in the air, so that's a good sign. So when I at least do that, it makes for some good uh, pleasurable playing golf. So as opposed to being frustrated. So. Here, we're gonna have at it here in the next hole and uh, we'll see you on the turn. So this hole, man, I was very proud of myself, man. I kind of went after this hole. I'd hit this drive here about uh, maybe 180, 185. It would be a lot further, but it clipped those trees. And then the second shot in, you have to hit over some water. Here's James's tee shot. And I think he clips it up on the left-hand side here. But on my second shot, wow. I kind of 10 cupped it because I didn't know if I wanted to lay up or go for it. I decided to go for it. And I actually, uh, I thought I was on the green. This is James' second shot. But you'll see here, I was actually just left of the uh, you drop pin. on the other side? Just, I think I'm either on the fringe or right off of the fringe. I'd pitch it on just off of the fringe and then I would uh, just oh. miss this putt for par. So that's how it goes sometimes. Hole 18, the last hole, 399 yard par 4. And I'd hit a very good drive here as well. I'd hit the drive pretty straight, about 190, still leaving me uh, about 190, 95 yards in. James's tee shot. So I take my second shot here. I believe I come up on the left hand side of the game. Just short. Here's my pitch and I blade it through. So I was I was stating at the beginning of this video, this is a part one of part two, this is the back nine. I'll release the front nine video a week from today. Uh, I'm going to do on Thursday the giveaway winner for the Jagman Joe. I'll also put the uh, video in the description so you can get your last chance to get your entries in on that. And I would, uh, theme of the day would be a two putt as I would just lift this out. Pretty frustrating, but I had a good time, man. I played bogey golf here, and uh, which is, you know, my goal is to start with that and then get to par. So thanks again, everybody, for your support. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments below. Hit the like button and live your life above par.